Today we're heading to Phyrexial will be one standard to play the most toxic and probably meme deck in the format, Venerated Rot Freeze Combo. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Sephrada Live, and it is time, finally, for some Phyrexia All Will Be One Standard, and we're kicking off our new format right, with the most toxic deck that we've ever played, and one of the memeiest decks we've ever played, we're playing Venerated Rot Priest Combo, this is a deck that, when things go well, we straight up win the game on turn 3, which is ridiculous, kind of like this weird, really jank janky Mimi standard storm deck when things go wrong well, we don't talk about those games so let's talk about the ultimate rot priest meme deck jump into some games and see this ridiculous pilot action so the plan of the deck is simple it's all about venerated rot priest to the point where we'll mulligan pretty aggressively to find this card uh yes it can attack and block but most importantly when a creature we control becomes a target of a spell we get to give our opponent a poison counter so we do two things with rot priest first we can play it fairly we rot priest and we have a ton of protections spells shore up slip out the back tiver stand uh in friends that we play the rot priest and just like protect it by also targeting it to give our opponent poison counters and maybe we add a like ivy to the mix which kind of doubles our poison counters because if we target a venerated rot priest we'll also get to target ivy so two poison counters rather than one maybe we draw some cards with storm chaser drake and over the course of a few turns we kind of just poison our opponent out of the game maybe we proliferate a little bit with bloated contaminator tainted observer that's the fair game plan the the more spectacular game plan is this incredibly weird janky but super fast turn three combo kill involving one of the worst cards in the history of magic or at least in standard in march of burgeoning light this is the first time i have ever in the history of the game found a deck where march of burgeoning life is actually really really good so the idea is we play a venerated rot priest and then on the following turn we can march of burgeoning life exiling a green card to get a copy of venerated rated rot priest for one mana we also get a poison counter because this is targeting the rot priest once we have two rot priests things are ridiculous every slip out the back shore up tiver stand etc is giving two poison counters more importantly march of swirling miss just ends the game march of swirling miss we can exile a blue card from our hand cast it for one mana target both of the rot priests they're each gonna see each other so for one mana if we have two venerated rot priests and for pitching a blue card from our hand we get four poison counters so how this normally plays out is like turn one rot priest turn two attack and protect the rot priest turn three march of burgeoning light to get another rot priest and then cast whatever spell to target it get a couple more poison counters then march of swirling miss four more poison counters close out the game on the spot it is the most ridiculous fastest combo kill in a standard deck and as long as I can remember, like, I can't remember the last time we had a legit turn three win the game combo. And it's even more janky because it's with poison counters of all things. Of course, as I mentioned before, uh, if our opponent kills the Rot Priest or just, like, counters all of our stuff, things can go poorly. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Let's jump into some games and see the memeiest deck in standard in action. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it. And I'll be back in a bit for the wrap up. Need some Phyrexial will be one cards? Well, you can snag them from our sponsor, Card Kingdom, over at cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish. Well, all right. This is kind of the Rot Priest meme draw. As long as, unless our opponent has one mana removal for this Rot Priest, this Rot Priest is going to go off. And it seems like they do not. So we'll play a land, Thirsting Roots for a land. It'll be a, doesn't really matter. We'll take a forest. And I think this is where we get to see the full power of the Rot Priest. Uh, go to combat, hit ya. See what our opponent does. I think our opponent's just dead though. Land. Okay, so we will March of Burgeoning Light. This is the one deck I've ever seen that can make March of Burgeoning Light work. Get another Rot Priest, poison you. Play the land. Go to combat it. I mean, this is this is just the turn three kill. This is the full on meme. Go attacking. This is where the deck looks like the most busted thing I've ever seen. Like we didn't even need to attack here. We can deal all the poison without even attacking. Uh, so we hit our opponent. We shore up a venerated rot priest. Two more poison counters, and then we march of swirling mist, pitching the ivy for four poison counters and that's a turn three kill that's a turn three kill that's why you play this deck <laughs> that is the reason to play the deck is 
when it works and you have the rot priest and it doesn't die you get the fastest kills possible in standard like when was the last time there was a literal turn three kill combo in standard I know there's like sometimes the games virtually feel over like you miss a land drop and your opponent's got fable the mirror breaker going or something and you're like okay this is basically over but this is literally opponent dead this is literally ted poison counters on turn three it's ridiculous the only question is how how consistent is it can we do it consistently enough so this is one of those hands like we want to rot priest every time every single time we want a rot priest i think this is one of those hands that we keep though even though we don't have a rot priest opponent swamp passes well we will we will also we'll just play an island and pass i don't think we're gonna run something out into the removal here opponent land and we're waste well forest and old stormy go if opponent tries to kill it we will protect it opponent go for the throw well we will shore up draw a card we must protect the drake at least until we find a rot priest opponent untaps go for the throw sure opponent passes so i'll play the land uh bloated contaminator go opponent also ivy tiver stand it what all right well <laughs> guess opponent uh felt like they couldn't beat that oh there's a rot pre stand around the play all right well here we go opponent do you have one mana removal that is the question there's the rot priest hello show us the cut down and the game will continue otherwise with this hand this rot priest is going to go a long way all right spara's headquarters hit ya one toxic hilariously march of burgeoning light would be our best draw if we hit march of burgeoning light we get to combo kill the opponent screlves hive sure uh well we'll untap Ooh, croaking counterpart would be good if we could cast it well get in and hit ya toxic ya pass the turf opponent gets a dork currently winning the poison battle though opponent would you like to kill our rot priest would you like to try to kill our rot priest is the real question about it more seed cores and annex sentry all right so opponent we're gonna try to get our rot priest we will shore up give it hex proof poison ya uh, bloated contaminator eh well we are making this look a little hard just because we're we're not hitting our land drops here about it rot priest good defense against one ones apparently might overs here opponent gonna go to combat and get in hit us we can block this right all right block here actually are we going to shore up we could block here and shore up that might be better yeah let's do it let's block shore up give you a poison counter get a poison counter untap oh lack lands the lack lack lands the lack a lack a lands what do we do hmm yeah i mean i guess we just play ivy and hope yeah this one's going poorly because we just are not hitting our lands we really need one we really need two more lands but at least one more land opponent if they have removal here for the rot priest yeah yeah oh they're gonna hit the ivy interesting slaughter stinger yeah, so I think we're losing this battle now just because we haven't hit our land drops. Opponent with a big attack. Their stuff gets pumped. No blocks. Yeah. Down to 10 and down to dead. Down to 8, actually. Well, venerated rot priest. Wow, we will see. Can we phase out enough is the question. Maybe? We got to phase out enough to stay alive. Actually, we might have a shot here. Opponent goes to, I think we have a shot. Opponent goes to combat, opponent attacks. Wait, are we gonna win this? Are we gonna win this with two lands? Two lands, two rot priests, enough? So opponent attacks, they get a bunch of pumps. Yep. So we block here, block here. Then we march of swirling miss. X4, exile, exile. One, two, three, three, four, five, six. So if we do this, we go to one. All right. March of Swirling Miss. A bunch of poison counters. Phase stuff out. We go to one. And a seven. Opponent makes a dork. We're good. We're good. Oh, okay. And then we just shore up. A rot priest. Double trigger. And 
and we got him. Two lands, two Rob Priest takes down. <laughs> okay, maybe Rob Priest is just busted. Maybe. I mean, I know, I know, I know. It's early access day. Everything's busted on early access day. But, I mean, Rob Priest is, is kind of <laughs> memeing its way to a lot of victories. <laughs> All right. Rob Priest. Memes. Take whatever. Oh, I think we're going to mulligan this. No Rot Priest, one land. Hmm. Well, okay. Rot Priest, but our best friend, the Sparrow's Headquarters. <laughs> I mean, it's still fine, but Sparrow's Headquarters is obnoxious about it. Ooh, double Rot Priest. Yally G. Uh, well, hit you with the Rot Priest. Toxic, yeah. Play the land, and you know what? We're going to play another Rot Priest. Since we drew another one, we're just going to run it out. If they kill one, at least they take two poison counters. Oh my goodness, opponent's gonna die here. Wait, do they die right here? All right, playing Ivy. Hit ya. They don't, they, they don't die quite yet, but it looks like maybe a turn four kill. Kadama of the West Tree, sure. And wow, opponent's got no fear. They got no fear at all, sure. We will take it. Opponent gets to ramp. Could we have just won right there? I think we could have just won right there with double Rot Priest, couldn't we? Well, we hit you. How many... I think I was underestimating the amount of damage we could deal or the amount of poison. So if we Tyver stand a Rot Priest, and then it gets copied for Ivy. No, I guess we were one short. Uh, so opponent goes up to nine. Yeah, we couldn't have won right there. We were, we were correct. Uh, and then we will pay... Pay two... Exile Storm Chaser Drake. Phase out the Rot Priest. And kill ya. <laughs> hey! Good try, opponent. Good try. That was that was a that was a good attempt at playing magic. <laughs> Rot Priest says no. <laughs> uh, ooh, up against Amazonian. Amazonian. Ooh, no, mulligan time. Spar's headquarters and no Rot Priest. Easy mulligan. Ugh. All right. I mean, this hand's not good, but I think we keep it six. Opponent. Thirsting Roots. Rob Breeze. New. No. All right. Spyro's headquarters go. Opponent. Razorbridge Circuit. Skrelv's Hive. Well, we also get a Thirsting Roots, which we will use to thin our deck, I guess. Um, I guess we just take an island at this point. We really, really, really need to draw a Rot Priest. And we need to draw it like now-ish. If we do draw a Rot Priest, this hand can do some sweet things. That's kind of the doubt. We, we've seen the bad of the deck too. Like this is a bad of the deck. We see the explosiveness of the deck last game. However, now we're seeing the downside of like, if we don't find the Rot Priest, things go a lot differently. A bonus passes. Slip out the back. Well, I mean, we'll play the Ivy, which I guess can attack the Ajani and is super good if we find Rot Priest. If we find Rot Priest, we might win immediately, which is kind of hilarious. A bonus. Land. Slaughter Singer. Goes to combat. Hits us. Pumps it. Sure. Down to 18. And. Passes. Well, play the land. Hit the Johnny. Pass the turn. <laughs> yeah, this is the deck in do nothing mode opponent infectious bite eh? well in that case we'll just bounce the token and i think uh no we will not bounce our ivy oh we don't even have a poison counter so we don't get to proliferate and we get a poison counter not ideal about it taking up a johnny this a johnny has not been very impressive i guess it's sucked up a couple of our attacks but an eccentric um <clears throat> yeah i mean i i guess we slip out the bag Although this is still super bad. Opponent gets in, hits us. Down to 14. Rot Priest! Shore up. Well, I mean, we get to kill the Ajani, which is something. <laughs> wow, it's so funny. Last game, we got to see the deck, like, at its best. This game, we were seeing the deck at its, at its worst, by far. Mulligan, no Rot Priest, do nothing, die. Um, wow, and this pumps all the dorks. Yeah, we're dying in so many ways. Well, let's, I guess, shore up Ivy. Although spending these spells means we're not, even if we draw Rot Priest, I don't think we're going to have enough cards to combo. We're just in desperation mode at the moment. Another Infectious Bite. Um, we can phase it out, but 
Not going to copy it. Phase that out. Get the poison counter. Untap Ivy. Kill the Slaughter Singer. Oh, do they have a pump spell? Well, sure. This is, I don't think it worked exactly how our opponent wanted. They did get to draw a card, but we got to copy it for our Ivy, so we're still we're still alive. All right, deck. Ivy. Hmm. Now we're just now we're just dead. Well, I mean, I think it's good that we see these games too, because I know people are gonna gonna see some of these games and be like, "This deck is so broken. You gotta ban it. This is a problem." It's good to see this too. It's good to see the it's good to see the nothingness along with the turn three amazingness. So I, I think that's I think that's fair. I think that's fair that we see the the good and the bad of a deck like this. Because I really don't want people freaking out. Like I said, I, I'm a little worried about Best of One just because Best of One is it's it's a unique format. Uh, and you don't get sideboard cards, and you only get one shot at it, and it kind of incentivizes decks like this, especially when you combine best of one with Arena's incentive system of to hit your rewards, play as many games as possible, as fast as possible. Like, a low win rate with a deck that's super fast is better than a high win rate with a deck that's super slow if you're just trying to gi uh, grind rewards. So that, that makes me a little bit concerned. Like, that would be my little concern, is best of one in Arena's incentive system might make this deck very heavily played as a way to grind out rewards in best of one on the other hand like what do you i mean i guess we keep this we're seeing we're seeing the downside of the deck too like this is another one no no rot priest on the draw mulligan still no rot priest well there's a rot priest so we did find a rot priest although we just put the march to the bottom which is awkward if we knew we were going to draw a rot priest we probably would have uh probably would have kept the march tenacious underdog oh ivy well um yeah, let's Rot Priest. Hope it lives. I mean, if we get to untap with Rot Priest and Ivy and Storm Chaser, life is sweet. Our hand is pretty creature heavy. Liliana here would be sad. Opponent combat hits us. No blocks. Down to 17. All right, just a Flesh Gorger. I mean, that is big, but... Oh, we'll play Yav Maya Coast. Do we Ivy? Is that our best bet? Yeah, let's, let's play Ivy. Pass the turn. We are kind of getting smacked around by these big threats. Oh god, Archfiend of Dross, okay. Things are getting scarier. Opponent goes attacking. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take it. Not feeling super great about where we're at though, honestly. Oh, more contaminators. Um, well, play contaminator. Yeah, we're just getting this is the other way I think the deck can lose, is just decks that play big creatures very fast, like we're seeing here. I think that's the other way our deck can uh, can just kind of get crushed. So we're seeing we're seeing the two options: lots of removal. Oh, pfft. seriously, um, um, yeah. So we're just we're just dead, right? I think we're just dead. Well, we can give him a poison counter before we die, so we feel like we do something at least. Send a message. Send a message. Uh, we sack. We take six. Yeah, so so we're just dead. Yep, big creatures. Pretty good. All right. Much improved about nothing time. We are playing the... Uh, I think we keep this, actually. We are playing the infamous Venom Rated Rot Deck meme deck. <laughs> rot Deck? Rot Priest. Rot Priest meme deck. I butchered that intro. Exuberant by a slinger. How do we do this? I think we just wait. Actually, you know what? Let's play, let's play Ivy. If they kill Ivy, I'm kind of okay with it. It means they're not adding a creature to the board. And if they don't kill Ivy, then next turn we can Storm Chaser Jake and per, uh, Drake and protect Ivy. All right, Renegade, sure. I'll play the land, play the Drake. Get in with Ivy. About it untaps. This aggro is a little scary. We might be able to like, uh, well, we'll see. Attacks, attacks. You know what? I think we just have to take it this turn. Down to 15. Goro, Goro. Opponent passes. Ooh, more lands, more lands. We'll play the land. Go to combat. Hit you with both. Opponent goes to 14. Pass the turn. Oh, if only we had a Rot Priest, we'd be going off. Opponent, Fusling. It's kind of a lot of damage. Whoa, wait, that's a 5-3 now? How is that a 5-3? Oh, plus 2, plus 0 for each modified creature. Oh, God. All right, we're going to have to do some stuff here. Trample Haste. Enters a battlefield. Okay, so I think what we do is shore up the Storm Chaser Drake. Copy it for Ivy. 
Pump them and untap. Oh, draw another land. Kill both the Fuselings. Drop to eight. Untap. Oh, even more lands. That's so many lands. That is so many lands. We'll play the land. Ha go attacking. I mean, we probably are just gonna have to phase everything out here, I guess. Opponent goes to combat. Actually, maybe this is fine. We're only taking three. Yeah, we'll take three. Down to five. All right, untap. March of Swirling Mist. All right, well, we got a plan, which is phase them out and phase them out and get in hit ya. Down to six. Opponent. The question is, does our opponent have burn spells? That's what would get us. Opponent, forest. Hopefully the answer is no. Let's see what our opponent does. Well, this has not been the, the Rock Priest meme, but <laughs> Storm Chaser Drake meme. And we flooded out quite a bit, thinking. Invigorating Hot Springs. All right, so actually, wait, this is fine, right? Oh, no. Hmm. One, two, three, four. I think this works. So play four. Copy Storm Chaser Drake. Um, yeah, we'll get an Ivy. It's going to Legend Rule, but that's fine. It thins the deck. Ugh, Ivy thinning. Get another Drake. Opponent gets a Hot Springs. But this gives us lethal, and now we just phase out our opponent's stuff. Exile the March of Swirling Mist. One, two, three. Phase him out, phase him out. Oh, all right. Untap and go attacking. And we got there. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was a sweet win. That was a sweet win. No Rot Priest. No Rot Priest action, though. Ooh, all right. Well, I mean, we're on the draw, but we will keep this. That's a Rot Priest Storm Chaser Drake draw. Unfortunately, the Sparrow's Headquarters is a little tapped. Yeah, I think we just have to play Sparrow's Headquarters pass. Opponent. Island passes. Well, play a land. Play a Rot Priest. Oh, no. Are they playing control? Oh, boy. Okay. Opponent. Sure. Well, that's not good for us. Opponent untaps. Land. Urza, okay. Land, please. No. Uh-oh. Well, now this is looking pretty bad. Playing Urza. We needed that Rot Priest. That's the challenge for this deck is what do you do when the Rot Priest dies? Mind Splicer Apparatus. Opponent gets in. No blocks. Well, we draw land, which is good. So play the land. Hit you with the Storm Chaser, Drake. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, let's play Contaminator. Opponent's gonna start getting that discount. We do not have an answer for Mind Slicer Apparatus, so that's gonna do its thing. Opponent. Wow. All right. Well, GG. GG. Uh, Storm Chaser, Drake. Go attacking. Oh, yeah, we're... In <laughs> and they get to proliferate on their Mind Slicer Apparatus. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, out janked, I guess. Opponent goes to combat, goes attacking. Uh, yeah, yeah we'll, we'll take it. <laughs> yeah, there's no... Oh, the Essence Scatter on Rot Priest just ruined our day. Opponent, sure. Add some counters. Add some counters. Blue Sun's Twilight, eh? That is going deep. I mean, we're dead in every, every way here. Um, yeah, I mean, there's not even... Boom, sure, shore up, draw a card. Like, there's nothing we can draw that changes this. And now we're, now we're hitting the blue manas. Another Storm Chaser, and dead. All right. Well, <laughs> missing those land drops was pretty painful. Ah, oh, boy, that went wrong in a bunch of ways. All right, much brew about nothing time. We are, ooh, this is a, this is a turn three kill hand, maybe. Actually, we need a green card. We need a green card to pitch to March of Burgeoning Life, and we can win super quick. Venerate a Rob Priest. Found it. Tap land. Okay, so we... That is a green card. So we play the land. No, we play the untap land. We go to combat. We hit you with a rot priest. Toxic, yeah. March of Burgeoning Life. Pitch the Ivy. Copy the rot priest. Poison, ya. Yeah. Get a rot priest. Pass the turn. Opponent. Land of War Waste. And... Wow. Okay. Uh... I don't think our opponent did, but <laughs> since you're asking us, um, <laughs> so what happens here is March is Swirling Miss, target, target, that's double, double, uh, that's six more counters, and then we hit for two, if our opponent targets us, they die, and if we draw any spell that targets our opponent dies, uh, that was the, the fastest one yet. <laughs>
<laughs> the, when it works, the deck's absurd. When it works, the deck's... There's nothing else like it in standard. When it works, it really works. When it doesn't work, well, at least you die quick. <laughs> Uh, I am actually a little worried that this deck, not not in best of three, I'm not worried about it, but in best of one, I would not be surprised if this deck was super popular. Ooh, well, we got the Rot Priest. We'll see how great, well, we, we might be able to Frog Priest. <laughs> we haven't got to see Croaking Counterpart go off yet, but opponent planes you know what we're not gonna be greedy we're not gonna be greedy we're gonna we've gotten punished before by being greedy scrub uh well yeah my echoes now we will rot priest with protection up past the turn opponent makes a dork forest plays a rot priest of their own sure and ooh, another scrub hive opponent passes well we will play a land and frog the rot priest give you a poison counter Pass the turn. This is a big turn. Our opponent needs removal. King Darien, okay. Hits us. I mean, I th think we might be able to win now. Shore up. So we play the land. We have two Rot Priests. So every spell is two counters. I mean, this is game, right? Uh, so Tyver stand X zero on a Rot Priest. Give you two counters. <laughs> Best frog ever. Best frog ever. And then we will shore up the Rot Priest. Give you two more counters. And then full control mode. Slip out the back the Rot Priest. Two counters. But with the trigger on the stack, we will March of Swirling Miss. X2 Pitch Tainted Observer. Target both Rot Priests. Give you four counters and GG. All right. Uh, that was pretty busted. <laughs> I mean, that's basically Storm and Standard. <laughs> frog Priest. Frog Priest. <laughs> oh, this, deck's, this deck is lovely. This deck is absolutely lovely. I, I gotta say, I love, I love this deck. I absolutely love this deck. <laughs> oh. So what did we learn this week about the infamous Rot Priest meme deck in Standard? And I gotta say, I still don't really know how good this deck is. On one hand, we saw the most explosive deck I've seen in Standard in a decade or something. Like, just ridiculous turn three combo kills. When the deck does its thing, and you turn one Rot Priest, and your opponent can't kill it, and you untap, especially of the marches in hand, it is amazingly powerful. One of the most ridiculous things I've seen in Standard ever. Some of the fastest combo kills I've seen in Standard in a long time. On the other hand, we also got to see the bad of the deck. We got to see games where we run out the Rot Priest and our opponent kills it. We got to see games where we mulligan a couple times, don't find Rot Priest, and like play an Ivy and have a bunch of Hexproof spells in hands and just literally do nothing as our opponent beats us down. I think the things the deck struggles with is number one, decks overloaded with cheap removal. Those That's the best way to beat this deck if this deck becomes popular and you're like how do i compete against this you kill the rot priest play your cut downs play your play with fires that cheap one mana instant speed removal that can just get it off the battlefield so that's way number one the other way to beat this deck which we saw a couple times is just be aggressive and play big creatures like yes if your plan is just to like curve out with big creatures uh, sometimes you're gonna get combo killed if we have the absolute nut draw with march of burgeoning life we're just gonna beat you even if you're playing big stuff but if we don't have the absolute nut draw you're able to just like play your tenacious underdog into your Frexian Flesh Gorger, into your Archfiend of the Dross, and we're playing like one twos and we're in two ones. So our creatures aren't very big. We can't really interact with your stuff. So as we're trying to like get stuff set up for our combo, you just attack us with big creatures and win. So if you run into this deck, keep that in mind. Kill the Rot Priest, counter the Rot Priest, or just like smash us with big creatures. That's how you're going to beat this deck. So what is the future of this deck? Obviously, we're playing an early access day with a free account from wizards thanks to wizards for that so uh, early access day doesn't necessarily carry over into the wider meta people are trying new things they're doing cool things there's more jank than normal on early access day so is this going to be an actual like competitive real deck in full standard 
I will say, in best of three, I think the deck's gonna be medium. Like, I think people will play it. It seems like a really fun budget magic deck, especially if Venerated Rot Priest gets a little bit cheaper. So I think it's a, like a fun rogue brew for best of three standard. Where this deck is probably going to really shine is best of one standard on Arena. In best of one, you don't gotta deal with sideboard hate cards. Like, in best of three, people are just gonna sideboard in a ton of cheap removal, and it's gonna get much harder to actually do the combo. Uh, but in best of one, you don't have that option. The other thing is this deck really lines up with the incentive of best of one where it's super fast win or lose the game's going to be over in a short number of turns uh, which is kind of what you want if you're trying to grind out rewards you don't have to deal with sideboard cards and one thing we've learned about arena is some people are just trying to get their dailies like trying to get x number of wins a day to get all the gold that they can uh, and if you're doing that this is the kind of deck you want to play like even if your win rate is medium you're going to earn your rewards faster than playing a higher win rate deck that takes 10 turns 15 turn 20 turns if you're playing like a medium to low win rate deck where the game's over in three turns or four turns consistently so i could see this being a very hated deck in best of one i would not be surprised if a month from now we're hearing best of one players complain about rot priest and complain about just like the combo kill and how it's all over the ladder it's got a little like grease fang in it or some of those other like turn three jank you out super fast to bolts trickery another example or zombie hunt it's got that same sort of feel where when it works it feels so ridiculously unbeatable and it wins so ridiculously fast that I wouldn't be surprised if best of one players get sick of this card pretty quickly. Best of three, I think it's got a chance to like win some games, but I would be surprised if we actually saw it be that good. Yes, we can also overlord our sideboard with spell pierces and the gates and more protection, which will help, but I think in the long run, uh, opponents being able to bring in a bunch of cheap removal, a bunch of sweepers and things like that are gonna make it really, really tough. So anyway, that is the Rot Priest meme deck. That's been our much brew for today. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon.